everybody and welcome back to another episode here from Empire's SMP. How is everybody doing? We are back here again in the lands of Mifflin, my beautiful and amazing empire. And we've been growing, growing like crazy, especially that UFO tree that I noticed right there. Who did that? This means war. Actually, I think that was probably me. I was clearing some land over there. It's fine. I'm not going to go to war with myself. So in the last episode, we built this awesome little barn and I love it. It looks so cool. I added a little bit more details to it, a little hanging light there at the tippy top, and also some details at the top, and it's doing great. Um, uh, I don't know how that um, cow got in there. That's fine. That's a sheep cow. But also, uh, we're going to do a little bit of breeding, but if you noticed, uh, there's also a lovely icon on the top right, and if you also noticed, I got a couple totems of undying, but I will show you that in a second, but check out the second floor area. This is so cool. I love the overgrown look got some hay bales got little workstations got little cooking areas and also i got this uh lovely little bunk bed put that up there okay it's not good it's not going up it's not it's okay that's good fixed it in case anybody needs to come over here and sleep for the night they can go ahead and sleep up here but we got some fun stuff to do now let's rush really quickly and visit our villagers because i have some discounts available oh um i also have no emeralds so let me go get those quick i should have got that bed uh shouldn't i put it in the bunk bed side i need it now to sleep i made a mistake but before we take advantage of these awesome discounts let me show you how i got hero of the village a pretty epic at battling things so you just watch this an amazing battle i am one of the greatest battle artists in the history of all minecraft i am an artiste with a blade i'm the greatest bowman as well everybody knows this this is like legendary don't worry about these arrows on me it's okay it's nothing but a little tickle also we got this nice little shack back here because apparently one of my villagers escaped and they didn't want to go back home they uh, pretty much uh demanded a new home for them uh because they were never going to go back into the training hall so i mean this cute little house right here this little shack right here on the side of the water it's really really cool and you know what it houses one of the greatest villagers there is this guy mending for one let's go hero of the village let's do this baby give me one a two a three four let's do five thank you so much you're lovely oh i forgot to name this horse um i don't even have name tags uh hold on uh I'll be back. Also, this head looks amazing. Vindicator looks all right. They're pretty similar, though. I might be able to sell these to Catherine because I know she was looking for some really rare heads. And those are pretty rare. Also, I don't know if I should sell these totems or save them. I might need them in a sticky situation. So, you know what? I'm going to keep those and maybe we do a raid farm and uh, sell them later on. Let's go get some more discounts. Hey, General. I'm going to build something for you later today. You just watch. It's gonna be great. Hello, friend. Shower me with gifts. I am the hero of the village. I saved the village. It wasn't this village, but you know what? You should shower me with gifts anyways. No? Okay, thanks. 
What do you got again, Unbreaking Boy? What? Only four? That's a that's a little bit of a discount. That ain't the greatest discount. Whatever. Um, name tags for nine. So that's a really good discount, actually. And I do need to name my horse. So I'm gonna take one of those. And you know what? I need to name House Horse, too. You know what? I need to name the General, too! So I cleared out this whole back area over here to keep adding more crops. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also, I'm gonna collect some more wood, because uh, I was collecting other things. And I forgot to chop this down. I just remember because by coming over here. So this area over here, I want to add some carrots and maybe some potatoes on this side. I also have a path that's pretty much ready to go. It's gonna go right down this line, kind of curve around this direction, and go off into this area from this area over here we got plenty of space so this is where i'm thinking we can build ourselves our iron farm and make all of the money so i'm going to be primarily selling a lot of iron to so iron blocks iron related products that's going to be the main source of income here in mifflin on top of other little things that we're doing like book sales and stuff like that. Also, I'm thinking we can also sell mushroom related products. Since this is a dark oak forest, we got tons of mushrooms. We got the red one and the lovely brown one here. So I can sell the stems, the brown mushroom block, the red mushroom block. And I know for a fact, there's a couple members here that do love them some mushroom stems. Ooh, I know it. I'm looking at you, Jem, Pearl, and Catherine. Right in your face. I'm looking right in your face. You're going to buy for me. I know it. So the Iron Farm is a project for another day. That's going to be a long-term goal of getting that. But maybe in the next couple episodes, we're going to build ourselves an Iron Farm. Also, a lot of people were asking, Sausage, when is the castle coming? You are the king here of Mifflin. You are the lord and a house sausage representative that everything the Dark Oak touches is your kingdom, right? Uh, that's the blood sheep. Um, all hail blood sheep. Beware of them. I have sentries everywhere. But yeah, we are going to be building a castle. And I'm thinking, if you look right behind us, uh, that area where that big tree is at, around there this spot <laughs> pretty much this whole back part i got an idea pearl's gonna see it from here too look pearl's this pearl's house it's gonna be right back here in this area and it's gonna be awesome but that's coming ah another blood sheep roam free my pretty roam free let me know if any bad guys come in the area oh thank you for warning me of this pig all oh, hail the blood sheep also, up here, I did a little bit of clearing right next to our barn, right behind our villager trading hall. This spot right here is for our general. They're going to need a nice little barracks uh, to do all their business stuff, uh, to war strategize and come up with tactics in order to defeat our enemies. I got to get rid of this UFO tree. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Minecraft gods. All hail, blood sheep. Also, this is the hoe of destiny. Thank you for the names. I don't think anybody named that. I think I did it myself, but I'm picking you anyway because it's the greatest hoe name in Minecraft. Also, I named a couple other things too. My sword, it's so good. Mythbane, and I added a bunch of stuff. I want to get the sharpness five, but look at this. Unbreaking, mending, fire aspect, sweeping edge three, looting one. I'm going to keep trying to get some more. And then also knockback two. Isn't that a beautiful name for a sword? And isn't it one of the most dangerous ones we've ever seen? I'm going to kill so many other empire uh, kings and queens and wizards and warlocks with that one. Can't wait. Blood shape. I see him. Get out. So we'll build this in a little bit. But before we do anything else, we have to go visit Queen Lizzie. Because I heard she has something very, very special uh, for trade. Something that uh, I'm thinking is going to be a very good collector's item coming up very, very soon. It's a clone of the King of Azalea. <laughs> you know I want me a clone. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, wow. Hello. That's, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I anticipated. Yep. Welcome to the marketplace, which is overrun by Joel's. Yeah, it looks like it, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot different than when I was last here. Yeah, he's, um, he's causing a lot of mayhem, actually. I'm a little bit worried that some of the Joel's are starting to plan a, uh, to overtake this. So, I, I would love to help you out right now. I would love this one right here. Well, he looks like he loves you, too. So, why don't you take him off my hands, please? I got this. Look, and I brought firing azaleas. You can have... Oh, wow. This, oh, these are cute, too. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no, um, I lost him. I'll find him again. Here, enjoy these. I picked them fresh from my garden. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, now, please great. enjoy your joy. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, my, I... 
I'm gonna put him to work. Oh, there he is. Hi, Joel. Let me grab a boat. If you ever need to sell any more Joels, just let me know. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know I could make a business out of this, but that's great. This is it. This, you're gonna get so rich. Oh, actually, you know, oh, this one actually has a nicer hat. Um, oh, off you go. Yeah, off. Get, come, come, jo get, jo Go on, jo get off the jo island. Joel, come on. Just like the real one. He's all stubborn. And as an extra down payment here, I, I might return soon. Oh, Have some dark oak logs you. from the dark oak kingdom. Wow. Au revoir. Oh, goodbye. Oh, don't tell Joel. I'm going to put him to work, okay? Wow, I think they all want to go with you. Um, no, you can keep that one. He smells like fish. Ah, bargain. We got a brand new Joel. Look at that. He even has a hat underneath his crown. You make a good fisherman. Oh, um, she's gonna tell Joel. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> she's selling Joel's. <laughs> what have I started? <laughs> Not only is he a clone of Joel, he's also half uh, water people, which is really cool. This is really rare. Oh, you don't understand. This is gonna be a collector's item in my kingdom. I wonder who we can clone next. Who would you like to see cloned and added to my kingdom? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, Joel, stop looking at my head like that. <laughs> weirded out. All right, perfect. I got him in here for now. That is a perfect spot. And I'm going to find a very, very special place for Joel uh, or clone Joel. Should I kind of clone Joel or fish Joel? Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments too. So last episode, we stole this disc right here. The greatest song in the world, which is definitely not the greatest song in the world. It's actually the worst song in the world. But I was tired of Jimmy stealing all my stuff. So I took this and I asked him for a diamond block in return. And you know what he told me? He goes, no, I ain't going to give you nothing. But you know what? I put an offer out to all the Empire representatives out there. And I'm offering one emerald. Just one emerald. We can negotiate too. And I think Fwip was on his way over to see if maybe we could do a little trade. And you know what? If Jimmy's not going to give me my diamond block, I'm going to give this ugly old song to somebody else. Oh, hello. Have you come oh, to hey, negotiate? Oh, hey, there you are. Hi. Yes. Um, yeah, so I, I I know you and Jimmy aren't at great terms. Yeah. And so I figure I could tell you this in safety because it is frustrating me so much. Okay. I've been over at his place just hanging, watching him build, and him being the blonde guy he is, I have hidden TNT traps oh my God. around his entire base. <laughs> oh, no. There are like eight pressure plates oh. that are landed over there with TNT sitting under them, and he keeps jumping over them! Oh, God. We have to go back over there. Come on, come on. Um, <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, you know, if anything, I can lure him in, you know, get, get him close and see. I, I, plus, you know what? He keeps wanting to get this uh, record disc back, the greatest song in the world, but I have receipts with me. I literally have... Listen, I have receipts right here. Look, I have one. Uh, this is everything he's taken from me. I have receipts. So I just took one book. He, he's done all that to me. Oh, this is so good. I have receipts. <laughs> so I'm going to go to his base. I'm going to show him the receipts. And I'm going to tell him if he doesn't give me a diamond block like I asked him, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna just sell the stupid uh, song. <laughs> all right, let's go over there. Oh, I, I just, I, I, yeah. he's live right now for everybody who's oh, yeah. watching this in a video at this point. Yeah. Uh, and I have his stream pulled up on the side. Me <laughs> too, I have his stream. One on the TNT. I saw it, I saw it, I just saw it, I just saw it. <laughs> oh, no, there it is. <laughs> oh, yep, that's it, all right. Okay, yep, um, <laughs> let me go check, let's go check. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, um, he, I don't think he's seen the second trip No, yet. this looks there's, like my bell, one, actually. There is, all right, don't step on any stone pressure plates. No stone, just, okay. <laughs> no, no stone pressure plates. Okay. Ah, the cod father. Hard at work. Look at this. What a beautiful bill, Jim. Uh, hey. Go away, both of you. This is what a do, beautiful what did we bill. Do? Go away, both. Do I see that TNT explosion go off? You did that. <laughs> I did you nothing did of the that? sort. I did nothing of the sort. You is that? Is this one over there? Is that one got a TNT over it under as well? No, no of course not. No. All right, let me go check. There's nothing. See, I'll step on it too, Jimmy. Look, perfectly right. safe. You're here to give me the disc back, right? No, I came to show you my receipts, and I have all of these that you should look Dude, at. He's got the receipts, Jim. What? He's yep. got the receipts. This is everything Wait. you stolen from me, Jim. All I've taken was a stupid song that's not even that good to begin with. So take those receipts, Wait. and I'll be you'll be hearing from my panda. He's gonna come over here and bite your face off. Wait, stole Jimmy stole eggs. Yeah. Jimmy stole cow. Yep. Wait, did, uh, yeah, did Jimmy stole Fortune Three book? Yep. Jimmy trespassed on land. That's not you. Yep. You missed this one here too. You, you right threw now. that one out on the. Wait. There's, there's Jimmy stole we. No, no, no. 
Yep. Guy. You did all of that. I have video evidence. I have many spies that came to me. I know all of yeah, these are facts. No, I need sausage. I. Oh, bye. <laughs> hey, I Jimmy, need that I got a chicken. Back. Uh, did I win chick chance? Yeah. There's a chicken down there. Yeah, th that'll Shush. be <laughs> that'll be one Shush. diamond block, sir, and I will be collecting very shortly, or I'll be selling this for one emerald or less. Sausage, you don't want to start this. You have been warned. Sausage, you don't want to start this, guys. Too late. <laughs> God, <run> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be back for you. I'm gonna be back for you guys. And I took my bell back, Jimmy. Somebody told me you stole it too. I'll <laughs> oh, this is too good. Oh, poor. That's amazing. <laughs> he walked right back in. <laughs> I hit him and I set it up while he was standing there reading the receipts and I just walked back in. Oh, shit. I fell in a hole. <laughs> that was oh. amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. That was amazing. <laughs> He's logging off. He's leaving. <laughs> oh, that's too good. So I think we uh, we might need to tell Jem what we did just so she's a little aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fine. It's She'll fine. Be fine. She's a fine. wizard. She can take it. Yeah, no, she's yeah. Mm -hmm. She's probably stronger than both of us, to be honest. She was destroy Jimmy. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, you know that's what happens when you steal from one of the most powerful empires in the history of empires. Okay, you better give me that diamond block. Imagine going to war with a whole server just because of that stupid disc. Eh. That'll never happen. I've got name tags. Let's go. We're gonna do a little bit of naming right now, and I just can't wait. This has been a long time coming. Oh, what's this? A special delivery from your royal tailor, Zombini. Wow. I got. Okay. Um, I'll be right with you, house horse. We got. Oh, is this what I think it is? Okay. Oh, look at this. And we got a piece of steak. Oh, Zombini. Thank you so much. This is gonna be great. We got a new outfit. Okay, let's do a quick naming. Oh, um. What's that chicken doing in here? Oh, house horse, I got you. Watch this. Bing! House horse has been named. Oh, glorious. Okay, next. I'll be right back. The general. General, I got your name official. Bam! Oh, that is lovely. Oh, tickle, 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 tickle. And last but not least. Bam. Hi, Flip. Don't be confused with Flip. This is Flip. Hi. I think you might just love... What our royal tailor Zombini has for us. It's amazing. Take a look. Oh, you can't tell, right? Yeah, I should take my armor off. Give me a second. An outfit fit for a king. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, King Sausage. No longer Lord Sausage. The Lord's residence of House Sausage over there. No, no, no. That is the king's residence. I am the king of Mithlin. And the one true king on the Empire SMP. Oh, this is so glorious. I look great. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't even want to wear armor anymore. I'll see if I can find a way to enchant this body uh, so I don't have to wear any armor and I can have all the armor just uh, armor plates on the king's robes or something. This is glorious. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And it matches our shield perfectly. Oh, yes. Who wants to battle the king of Mifflin? Let's go. Ah, but the king needs to get to work. I need to do some builds. So um, I guess I don't have anybody to hire to do these things. Time to get to building.
And just like that, the General's Barracks is complete. Look how cool this is. This is such a fun build. I'm so happy that the General finally has their own private little residence slash barracks slash war preparation room it's fantastic <laughs> look at this i love the shapes it is perfectly lined up with this new path that's gonna go off into that direction and i believe there's a blood sheep there I'm gonna be careful oh there they are oh <laughs> dangerous very dangerous but i also connected the path going around this way to the side of the villager trading hall this kind of curves back and around so everything is all connected here in a beautiful mifflind and i love it we also got some bamboo there for the general i like this little tree garden kind of thing on the side here i want to continue that wall to be wrapping around and i got a little bit of uh, perimeter walls over here too which looks really cool and then i also want to make another path going this way but this is the oh this is awesome Check that out. He even has some food cooking for us in there. Oh, let's go inside. Let's go say hi to the general. Oh, he loves it. Coming on up and inside. General, what's up? What do you got to eat? Here, have some bamboo, you sweet, sweet general. Oh, he loves this place too. Look at the details though on the inside. We got our planning room right here. Uh, I'm gonna also make some maps, but before we do anything, let me go outside real fast. Yeah, the um, the windows uh, need a little bit more defense, but I kind of like the way it feels. I'm gonna put our banner right here. Sorry, a lichen. Oh, there it is. Oh, the house sausage banner. Beautiful. Also, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna make a couple maps in a second, but what do you guys think of the uh, barracks right here? We got all the weaponry here on the side. Beautiful, a nice little way up here. More supplies on the top. There's absolutely uh, nothing. I don't think that I put anything here. There's a couple bushes and stuff like that, but yeah, it, it's um, this is our uh, war planning room. We're gonna be using this a lot in the future. Trust me, this is the um, the general's sleeping area. He might be a little bit too junky to get through the door, but whatever. He can let me sleep there. He'll sleep wherever he wants. There's a general. I don't tell him what to do. Uh, he also doesn't tell me what to do because, you, you know, we... <laughs> uh, oh. Yes, he does tell me what to do. That's him bouncing. And this is the kitchen. Look how cool. This is where we do all the meal prep and everything for our battles. We got a nice little cooking area over here. We got some beautiful candles. This is so cool. But, General, I got this. Okay, don't you worry about it. I want to make a map. This is going to be our first map of the area. Let's see if we can do it. Rosie, let me know how to do this. I don't remember how to do maps. Uh, it can't be any worse than Jimmy, though. One, two, three. Bam. Huh. In the corner. Let's face this direction. And boom. Oh, that's a glorious. Our house actually fit in the frame. I was afraid it was going to get cut off. Oh, man, but you know what? The best position is basically Gem's tree. Wow. It had to be, right? All the magical properties of that thing. And you know what? I never got this dark oak tree to explode with magical powers. I put some crystals down there. Maybe I need to put more than one. The azalea was only one because I think it's a smaller tree. I think for this one, just like it's a two by two, I think I might have to put another three crystals in that to, to make it work and grow a custom tree like this beautiful thing. We'll see how that goes. But I gotta get on the other side of this thing. Hello, my mending friend. Don't mind me. I'm just making a map. Go to sleep. Oh, perfect. Oh, so good. So now from here, we gotta go to the farming area. Look at that cute little arrow moving. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> All right, now we gotta get the barn in here. Let's go on the other side of it. And boom. Beautiful. And now for the farming area. And boom. Still gotta do our potato field. Ooh, beware. All right, there it is. We got this part. That's weird. Why isn't the wheat yellow? And I think last but not least, we're gonna get this beautiful section. Oh. This is from when I was trapping the Joel. I don't know why that one was there. And... Boop. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I gotta open up that side, huh? All right, got one more map left. How about right here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now let's give all these maps to the general. General, I brought maps. Check this out. All right, and there it is. We got it all set up. Look how pretty this map is. Oh, that's everything. Uh, I gotta fill this one out, even though there's nothing there, just to make my myself feel better. But you look at look at that. That is so good. We got everything in this area. I'm gonna keep updating this thing as we go along. But well, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to fill out this whole entire area over here. We're gonna have to make a big, big map room. Maybe some kind of observatory somewhere back here. Hmm. But that'll be for another day because for right now, I am out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today here in Mifflin. We finally got our kingly robes. Thank you so much for the tailor. Oh, Zombini did it again. I also got a couple other outfits that uh, might play a big role very, very soon coming up. I got, uh, I got some plans. 
But for right now, I am out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode from Empire's SMP. Goodbye.